This is the Guthrie Depot, the original train station that served the original state capital starting in 1903. In recent years, it has played host to a number of small restaurants, but no passengers. The train hasn't stopped here in more than 40 years. But that could be changing soon. The Oklahoma House passed a resolution earlier this year calling for expansion of Heartland Flyer service northward through Guthrie and Wichita to a terminus in Newton, Kansas, where it will meet up with the existing Southwest Chief Route. But does a resolution really mean that the expansion is going to happen? The first step with these resolutions is basically to uh, signal to the two state DOTs, Kansas Department of Transportation and Oklahoma Department of Transportation, to get ready for some directives from both the Kansas and Oklahoma legislatures to begin looking at the 2010 study and working with all stakeholders uh, to provide uh, a path for funding. If legislators can figure out how to fund it, this train could be a valuable asset to the state of Oklahoma and make the route more useful to Amtrak's passengers. But there's a catch. The Heartland Flyer budget is barely adequate to maintain the existing route from Oklahoma City to Fort Worth. The price tag of the expansion project could be over $100 million. I believe that the, the state DOT has turned around and that they do see economic promise, but the cost figures for service expansion have increased 60-fold since the train began. It may be a while yet before Amtrak riders will have the option to take the train all the way to Kansas, but at least there's another reason to be hopeful. With a little luck, it just might happen. Jack Maney, OU Nightly.